Candice Nicole channel once again. Today, what I will be cooking and showing you guys is southern fried catfish, but a quick and easy way, have enough seasoning, flavor, all of that. Um, so I'm going to get right into it with you guys. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to my channel, Candice Nicole, right there. Right here, I have three catfish fillets. Um, this is Louisiana catfish, fresh, not frozen, which you can definitely, definitely tell the difference. Uh, it tastes so much better when it's fresh and not frozen. So if you can get fresh fish, I suggest getting fresh fish. The first thing that I am going to do is just get some regular yellow mustard and just do a little on both on all of them. Once you put the yellow mustard on there, I like to use Zatarain's Creole seasoning and I am just gonna sprinkle that on top of my catfish for some extra flavor. And you can season it however much you want to season it. And then just rub it in on both sides on your catfish. So you're going to give your little catfish a little bit of massage right there just to spread the mustard, spread the seasoning. And by putting the mustard on it, it gives it another flavor, but it also allows the seasoning to stick on there and also the breading to stick on there. For my coating on my catfish, I'm using the Fish Fry Crispy Southern um, by Zatarans. And I have it in this bowl right here. You can do a bag, paper bag, plastic bag, however you like to coat your stuff. I'm just gonna pick it up and as you can see, it's seasoned, mustard on both sides. And just make sure that the catfish is fully coated with it. Then I got my fryer right here. And like I said, this is like so simple, so quick. My husband, my five kids, they love, 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 love when I fry catfish. And I love it because like I said, it's super easy. All you need is, what, four things? Your fish, your mustard, your seasoning, and your coating. And if you don't have Zatarans, um, I use Tony's sometimes too. I really like using Tony's Satchers as well. And you also want to shake it off before you put it in the fryer. So, my bad. So the extra seasoning doesn't, the extra coating doesn't go into your fryer. And all you're going to do is just drop it down and let that cook. So right here, what I like to put my fried food on, whether it's french fries, fried chicken, fried fish, it's just a cooling rack. Um, a lot of times it's used for baking, like um, cakes and things like that, cookies. I like to use it for my fried food because it's still the same concept. It's to let it cool off without it still cooking. And I like it because it allows my fried foods to not sit in that grease and it gets soggy and it's not crispy like I like it. So my fish are done. Um, depending on how high you have your grease, it shouldn't take no more than maybe about eight minutes or so. Um, like I said, it depends on how high your grease is. And here you all go. Here it is this crispy fried catfish. And I am just gonna crack this piece of fish open. And as you can see, it's so crispy and flaky. Literally, just enough seasoning. 